Hello, and today I am going to be showing how to do a dynamic Steam collection between you and your friends. Um, there are a lot of different features on Steam that you can access, such as showcases and such. that will show you your favorite games to your game collections, to your achievements, items for trade, and so on. One thing I would like to mention that I have is... Um, a selection of collections. So if I go to my game library, I have favorites, which you can already see, um, Arma 3 related stuff, card games, multiplayer, outdated games that are no longer supported by multiplayer, um, rich shared games, and I also have single player, spooky, war games, and westerns. So basically, you can edit these however you want, but you can make them dynamic. So for example, I have my friend here, Rich. Um, he has all of these games, and I have all of these games. So now, instead of me asking my friend to name off all the games in his library, what I can do is I can go into here and it'll dynamically update. So whenever he gets a new game, it'll tell me what all the games that him and me share that we've all we have played or have played together, instead of having to have him list off every single one. So I am going to go through and show you how to do that. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to go up to library, you're going to go to collections, and you click create a new collection. Then you're going to name the collection. For this one, I'm going to do Shadow Cloud 3 as my dynamic collection. Then I'm going to create, create dynamic collection. Now over here we have our friends, our store tags. We can do this by single player, multiplayer, cooperative, but for this, Simply, all we're going to do is click multiplayer, and we are going to go over here, and we're going to type in, uh, I'm pretty sure his name's a little different now, but basically this is my friend, ShadowCloud3. Now it's only going to show multiplayer games that we all have in common. These are all the games that my friend has. Now anytime he buys a new game, it's going to show up in this list. Um, you can also change said name, shared games, and this makes things a lot easier to be able to figure out, like, okay, like, do we all want to play this game? Well, let's play Hell Let Loose together. Let's look together. Let's see. He does not have the game. So that is a game that he does not have, so there's no, uh, if I want, if he later would purchase said game, it would be on the list. But for now, all he's going to do is show you games that he actively owns on Steam. And anytime he adds a new game to his thing, it'll add it to this said list. This is super helpful, and I found it quite useful um, recently to figure out what friends' games are. And I hope this information is helpful to you as well. Um, anyways, thank you for um, your time, and have a good rest of your, your day.